Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be part two of my mid-year inventory. This is makeup. It's not as exciting as the skincare inventory. There hasn't been nearly as much movement, but I'm here to tell you where I was in January and where I am now and how close I am to achieving the goals that I kind of informally set in January. So let's start with primers. I'm pretty happy with what I've done with this category. In January, I had 27 and currently I have 23. I finished four, they were all mini deluxe samples, but still, I'm happy with that. My goal for the end of this year is to finish one full size and five minis. So I still have to finish one more mini and one full size primer, but that would be great. I'm technically working on both of them right now. Obviously I can only work on one at a time, but they're both out, they're both in my bathroom and hopefully, hopefully I will have them finished by the end of this year. I should, I think I can do it. I have not purchased any new primers, but I do always see myself having a primer in my stash. I actually do like makeup primers. I think they do something for my skin. There's a couple that I really enjoy. And so I always see myself having a couple of primers, but no more than three. I mean, 27, 23, that's ridiculous. I would like to get that number down by 20 long term. Okay, the next category is BB and CC creams. I had one in a project at the beginning of the year and I haven't finished it yet. And then recently I decided to throw another one in another project. So hopefully this category will have two less products in it by December, but currently it's still at seven. I have not purchased any BB or CC creams. My ultimate goal is to have one, maybe two in my stash, probably just one but I would like to keep one BB or CC cream in long-term, not seven. Okay. The next category is liquid foundation. I had 20 in January, which is way too many, especially since I've come to realize that I'm super slow at finishing foundations super, super slow. I am currently down to 19. I finished a very nice deluxe sample of the Clinique beyond perfecting skin foundation and concealer. It's a good foundation. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it down the road, but I did finish that. And my goal was to only finish that foundation. I'm working on other skin-based products that I'm going to be talking about next. But as far as my liquid foundations, I had 20, I'm down to 19, and I achieved my goal of finishing one. So that category is probably not going to be touched for the rest of this year. I don't think I'm going to be pulling any more foundations from that category this year. And um, yeah, so I'm happy that I met my goal. The next category is foundations also, but these are foundations that are in like a jar. They're usually thicker and heavier. And that includes my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I had 10 of those in January. I still have 10. I am days, just a few days away from finishing my Revlon jar and it'll be gone. I am so close. My goal was to finish just that Revlon one for this category and get this category down to nine for this year. And I have no doubt in my mind that I will achieve that goal because, oh my gosh, if you guys could see how much product is left in that jar, it is nothing. I mean, a few days left. That's it. The next category are my stick foundations. I had two in January, I still have two. I haven't touched those at all this year and I don't think I will be touching those at all this year. I, it's Both of them are summer shades and it's summer right now and I'm not working on them. So unless I could finish all the foundation products that I currently have in projects and I still have a tan, I don't see myself working on those at all this year. So I'll probably still be at two in January the next time inventory rolls around again. Okay, the next category are my color correctors. I was at nine in January and I'm happy to report that I'm down to seven, so I finished up two. My goal was to finish up two, so I'm really happy that I already met my goal for this category for the year. I'm still working on one more. It's the Physicians Formula Duo with half green and half like a my skin color tone. And I'm only working on the green side right now, so I don't think I'm gonna finish that this year at all. But I'm really happy to have met my goal of getting that category down by two for this year. 
Okay, the next category are just my concealers. This is another category that's completely out of control, just completely. I was at 31 in January and I am down to 30 now, um, which means I used up one. I have not bought any new concealers. I am currently working on two concealers and my original goal in January was to finish two concealers. And I think I might finish the two that I'm working on, which means I will be down three by the end of this year, possibly. We'll see. But that would be amazing if I could finish three concealers this year. I would be super happy. But my original goal was just to finish two concealers. So we'll see where that goes. But right now I'm down by one and I'm working on the other two. All right, the next category is my pressed powders. I usually post this over two posts when it's inventory time, but today I'm going to be talking about them all together. One post are the pressed powders that have been depotted and are in magnetic palettes. And the other post is all of my individual compacts of pressed powders. But for the sake of this conversation, I'm lumping all of them together, which means in January I had 24 pressed powders and I still have 24 pressed powders. I have not finished any, but I am working on one and I'm hoping to finish that one by the end of the year. I'm thinking that's not gonna happen. It's just a little Winky Luck sample. It's so small, but I haven't even hit pan and it's June. So I don't think I'm gonna hit that goal. But I am working on the One Winky Lux sample, so hopefully. At the very least, hopefully I'll have good headway on it so that I could finish it next year. Okay, the next category are my loose powders. I was at 17 at the beginning of the year and I'm down to 16. I finished off a sample of Bare Minerals. Uh, it wasn't a finishing, it wasn't a mineral veil, it was a foundation. So I finished that off and I'm working on a Laura Mercier full size. It is a mammoth of product. It, it, it's huge. It, I don't think I'm gonna finish it by the end of this year, but my goal was to finish those two items. So mm, I don't think I'll be able to finish it, but I love that powder. I don't care if it lasts forever. So I have finished one loose powder so far this year and my goal was two. Okay, the next category are my setting sprays. I had six at the beginning of this year and I'm down to just four. I have finished two setting sprays. One was a full size, one was a sample size for MAC. I'm at the point with my setting sprays where I'm worried I'm going to finish them off. So I'm not trying to use them up. In fact, I'm trying to keep them for as long as possible because I don't want the day to come where I have to buy new setting sprays because that's something I always see myself having in my stash and I don't really wanna run out of what I have. So I have no goals set for finishing setting sprays, but I have already finished two this year, so I'm down to four. Next category is cream bronzers. I had six at the beginning of the year. I am now down to five. So I've finished one, I have not bought any, and I'm currently working on a concealer quad from e.l.f. that I'm using as a cream bronzer. It's gonna take me all year to get through that, but I am making good progress on it. It'll be interesting to see if I can finish it, but my goal is to finish that plus the one I already finished. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a race until December 31st to see if I can finish it in time. For powder bronzers, this is a category that normally takes up three posts on my Instagram. I'm combining them all into one right now. That includes my powder bronzers that are depotted and in magnetic palettes, my powder bronzer singles, and my powder bronzers that are loose or like the baked beads, balls, whatever. So those three categories are all combined into this one number. I had 36 in January and I actually have 37 now. I did not buy any new bronzers, but I did depot a bronzer from a palette. So this category went up by one. I'm really happy I depotted this palette that I'm going to be talking about in a little bit and I don't regret it, but I am so bummed that this category went up by one. My goal is to finish one small sample of powder bronzer. It's actually a foundation from Bare Minerals that I'm using as a bronzer and to hit major pan in my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have not accomplished either of those goals yet, but that is my goal for this year and uh, then I'll be right back where I started with the same number of 36 if I can accomplish that goal. Okay, the next category is liquid illuminators. 
I had 25 at the beginning of the year and I still have 25. I'm currently working on one and I've made some good progress on it, but I haven't finished it yet. But my goal is to finish that one by the end of the year and to be down to 24. I think I can achieve that goal. Hopefully I will. The next category are my cream highlighters. Now this is another category that I post in two pictures over on Instagram, but for today I'm combining them. And so for those two pictures combined, I have 27 cream highlighters. Why do I have 27 cream highlighters? I don't know. I'm still at 27. My goal, my goal was to finish two of them, one stick highlighter and one ColourPop Super Shock highlighter. I don't think I'm going to achieve that goal this year. Right now, I'm just focusing on the ColourPop one in the hopes that I could finish that. And then once I do, I will focus in on the stick highlighter. But honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen this year at all because the ColourPop is going so slowly. So right now, I'd probably be happy if I could just finish the ColourPop. But my original goal was to finish both of those. <sighs> Okay, the next category you would see on my Instagram feed is loose highlighters. I had 11 in January, I still have 11. I have not chosen to work on any loose highlighting powders at all this year. That's not my focus, but we'll see. Anything can happen. The next category are my highlight singles. This is a category that is totally out of control. I know I'm not the only one, but in January I had 51 highlight singles and I'm still at 51. My goal is to finish one. It's just a deluxe sample from Laura Mercier. It's in a project and I've been working on it. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by January, but I would be really happy if I do. That's my goal. I almost completely sabotaged this category with a good Becca sale that was going on last week. I had a strong impulse to buy like eight highlighters in one day and thank goodness I resisted the urge, but I almost completely sabotaged my goal for highlighters in one day last week. It was, it was a close call. All right, next let's talk about my cream blushes. I had 48 in January and I still have 48. I am so, 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 so. So, so, so close to finishing a cream blush. I cannot wait, um, but it's not gone yet. As of today, it's still in my stash. It's still here. I'm still working on it, but I definitely think it should be gone very soon. And my goal was originally just to finish that cream blush, but since I've realized how close I am to finishing it, I did add in another cream blush product. It's a benefit like liquid blush. So now my goal is to finish both of those by the end of the year, and I think I can do it. But my original goal was to just finish one. Yeah. My next category are my loose blush powders. I had 14 at the beginning of the year. I still have 14. I did not make plans to work on my loose blushes at all this year, so that hasn't happened. And I don't expect that category to change at all this year. I'll work on them maybe next year, hopefully. Okay, next are my blush singles. I have so many blush singles, so many. Normally, these blush singles would take four Instagram posts for me to get them all in. I divide them up into different categories, depotted blushes that are in magnetic palettes, matte blushes, shimmery, warm blushes, shimmery, cool blushes. You know, it's spanned over many Instagram posts, but for the sake of this conversation, I lumped them all together and Across those four posts in January, I had 177 blushes. Holy cow. What? What? That's insane. 177 powder blush singles. And I still have 177. Now I did finish a blush single. It was one that I worked on mostly last year, but I finished it off this year. But I also depotted a blush from a palette. So I'm at the same number I was in January. That blush came from the same palette as the bronzer did that I talked about in the bronzer category. I don't regret it, but I'm kind of disappointed that this number is not reflecting the change from me finishing a blush. My goal was to just finish that one blush. I'm working on other blushes that are in palettes. I did finish a blush that was in a palette and I'm working on another blush that's in a palette. But as far as my single, blushes 
I'm not planning on working on those again between now and the end of the year. So I'm guessing when January rolls around again, I'm still going to be at 177. That's too bad. Okay, the next category are my face palettes. This is normally divided up into four posts. I normally do a separate post for palettes that just have bronzer, separate post for palettes that just have highlighter, and a separate post for palettes that just have blush, and then a post for my face palettes that have a combination of two or more of those categories. But for the sake of this discussion, I've combined them all together. So in January, I had 45 face palettes combined, and now I am down to 44. I did not finish one of my face palettes. I depotted it. That's where the extra bronzer and blush came from in the categories I've talked about before this. Um, it was my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. It's out of here, it's gone, it's depotted. I'm so happy to have that out of this category. I'm bummed that those numbers went up, but I'm happy to have it out of this category. Currently, I am working on one more face palette. It is another Too Faced face palette. It is the Selfie Powder Palette. I would love to finish that by the end of this year. I don't know if I can do it or not, but hopefully I will be down to just 43 face palettes by the end of this year. Okay, my next category are my eyebrow products that consists of eyebrow powders, eyebrow pencils, eyebrow gels, anything that goes on my brows falls into this category. I was at 10 in January and now I'm at 12. It did go up by three, but I did use up one brow product. That's my ColourPop brow gel. And I received a Vox box from Influencer containing three full-size ABH products. So that's why this category went up by three. Well, that's why this category has gone up, not because I purchased any brow products. But currently, I'm not really using any of these products. I am using the ABH brow gel, but I'm not using any pencils or powders from my eyebrow category. I'm working on an eyeshadow as a brow product, and I will be for the foreseeable future. So I don't see this category changing anymore between now and the end of the year. We'll see. So I went from 10 to 12. All right, the next category are my eyeshadow primers. I was at 24 in January, I'm still at 24. I am working on my Mica eyeshadow base and I'm hoping to have that finished before the end of this year. It's either I'm gonna finish it or it's going in the garbage because I cannot stand to look at it any longer. I think I'll be able to finish it though. I've been working on it really hard, especially this month. <laughs> And in addition to that, I would love to finish a sample of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Uh, the sample usually lasts a month to a month and a half, so it's not something I can just fly through, but I would like to get that out of my inventory as well by the end of the year. So if I could finish the Mica Eye Base plus a sample of the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I would be so happy. But right now, I've finished nothing. The next category I'd like to talk about are my eyeshadow sticks. I had 48 in January and I'm down to 47. I finished one. My goal was to finish one. I am working on two eyeshadow sticks right now, but I don't think I can finish either of them by the end of the year. So I am happy that I met my goal of finishing one eyeshadow stick for this year. 47 is still way too many. All right, the next category is colored eyeshadow bases or cream bases. Um, like Maybelline color tattoos, that sort of thing. I had 38 in January and I still have 38. My goal is to finish one cream base by the end of this year and I'm working on one. Which one? Oh, it's the Revlon Color Stay Wands. There's two ends, one's white and one's like tan. I would love to finish that by the end of this year. Next is my gigantic category of loose eyeshadows. I had 90 at the beginning of the year. I still have 90. I have no plans to finish any this year. I'm not focusing on them at all. So I expect that category to be exactly the same in January. I'll get around to it one day. Okay, next is my category I lovingly refer to as my fancy top coat thingies. They're just those kind of eyeshadow products that you add on at the end of your eye look to add a little shimmer, a little glitter, a little glow. I was at 53 at the beginning of the year. I'm still at 53. I am working on a Stila mini 
Glitter and Glow in Smoldering Satin. I would love to finish that by the end of this year. I don't know if I can do that, but if I could get the number down to 52 by the end of the year, that would be amazing. I have not bought any new ones, so I'm still at 53. Super Shock Shadows. You guys know I love my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, but I've completely banned myself from buying any more. So I was at 72 at the beginning of the year. I'm still at 72. I'm currently working on two, one with the hopes of hitting pan on it, one with the hopes of finishing it. That's a lofty goal. I know how long it takes to finish a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's no joke. But if I could get that category down by one by the end of the year, I would feel pretty amazing. I don't think it's gonna happen. So. Currently, I'm at 72. Okay, next are my eyeshadow singles. This is usually two posts combined into one. The first post is my eyeshadow singles that are deep potted and in magnetic palettes. The second post are all of my compact eyeshadow singles that are, you know, have their own container and lid. You will not believe how many I have between these two categories combined. It's insane. Between those two categories combined, I have 367 <laughs> eyeshadows. 367. Just with the singles that I have depotted and the singles I have. <laughs> what? What? 367. I cannot believe it. It's the third week of June and I have finished zero eyeshadows this year. Zero. No eyeshadow singles. No eyeshadows have been finished. Nothing. Uh, I did finish an eyeshadow, but it, it was in a palette. Mm. We are in June and I have not finished any eyeshadow singles. I am still at 367. I did not really set a goal to finish any eyeshadows at the beginning of the year, but currently I am working on a single, a depotted single from Alme, and I would really like to finish that before the end of this year, before the end of that project on Halloween. So my goal is to finish one eyeshadow single this year and get that number way down to 366. Yeah. For eyeshadow duos, I was at 29 and I'm still at 29. I'm working on one eyeshadow duo. I would absolutely love to finish that duo this year. I don't think it's gonna happen, but that would be amazing to get that category down by one, but I'm still at 29. Same thing for trios. I was at 26 at the beginning of the year. I'm still at 26. I'm working on one trio. I would love to finish it. Don't think it's gonna happen, but I'm working on it and I would love to get that category down by one. For my eyeshadow quads, that normally takes up two posts on Instagram. I kind of divided up by high end and low end. I was at 55 at the beginning of the year and I'm at 55 now. So far this year, I've not worked on my quads at all. If I can finish one eyeshadow from my panning solitaire project, I will roll in a quad. And when I finish my baby pan that palette, I might potentially roll in a quad, but currently so far this year, I've not worked on my quads at all. Same thing for my five pan palettes. I had 15 at the beginning of the year. I still have 15 and I have not worked on any of my five pan palettes at all. For my six pan palettes, I had 22 at the beginning of the year and I still have 22. I am currently working on one of my six pan palettes, but not to finish it, just to hit pan. So I don't see this number changing. What I do see myself doing is rolling more of my six pan palettes into pan in every palette. There's some other palettes I would like to work on in that project and just hit pan on, but I don't see myself finishing a six pan palette anytime soon. So I think that number is going to stay the same. For seven pan palettes, I had three at the beginning of the year. I still have three. I have not touched them. For eight pan palettes and nine pan palettes and 10 pan palettes and 11 pan palettes, same thing. Haven't touched them. For eight pans, I had 18. For nine pans, I have 27. For 10 pans, I have 17. And for 11 pans, I have three. I don't see those numbers changing at all between now and the end of the year. I'm not working on a palette from any of those categories. If anything, they might find their way into pan in every palette, but other than that, I don't see those numbers changing at all. For 12 pan palettes, this normally takes up three posts on Instagram. I have so many 12 pan palettes. I actually have 45. 
I still have 45. I have not used any up. I had 45 in January. I currently have one 12 pan palette in pan in every palette. So my goal is to hit pan in that 12 pan palette. But other than that, I don't think that number is going to change at all. Hopefully I will hit pan in that palette, but I don't see myself using any of my 12 pan palettes up. I mean, knowing I pan as slowly as I pan, I think you are starting to see a pattern emerging as far as my eyeshadow palettes. The next category would be 13 and 14 pan palettes. I had six in January. I still have six, haven't touched them. For 15 pan palettes, I had eight. I still have eight, I haven't touched them. For 16 to 18 pan palettes, I had 13. I still have 13, I haven't touched them. For 18 to 25 pan palettes, I had 10. I still have 10, I haven't touched them. For 28 to 32 pan palettes, I had nine. I still have nine. I have touched one. I've been working on my blue-brown palette from Natasha Denona. I'm trying to hit one pan in that palette, so I am working on that palette, but otherwise, I haven't touched the rest of them. And for 35 to 100 pan palettes, I had six. I still have six. I haven't touched them. It's a little depressing. The next category is what I call combo palettes. Now these are palettes that have eyeshadows and face products, whether it's blush, highlighter, whatever, but they're combined into one palette. That normally takes up two posts on Instagram. I had 34, I still have 34. My goal is to finish one of those palettes. The palette that I've set the goal for the category to finish is my Pure Go Nude palette. That's the palette that contains my Baby Pan That palette. It contains the brow powder that I'm working on every day and it contains a third powder that I haven't used at all yet, but I'm hoping to finish off by the end of this year. If I could finish off that palette, it would make everything worthwhile that, I, that I'm doing. And I know if I could finish off that palette by the end of this year, it would make me so happy and I know it would make many of you very happy as well. So I am hoping to have this category down to 33 by next year's inventory. We'll see. For black eyeliners, I had 47 in January. I still have 47. I am working on one that's in a project and I'm hoping to finish it off by the end of this year, but it's not gone yet. For brown eyeliners, I had 30 in January. I still have 30. I am so close to finishing off the one I am working on. That's the only one I'm hoping to finish this year. If I can do that, I will be so happy, but it's not gone yet. So close. For colorful eyeliners, I had 38 at the beginning of the year and I have 38 now. I have not finished any. I am hoping to finish one colorful eyeliner. What color is it? It's a blue, it's a navy blue eyeliner. Hopefully I could finish it off by the end of this year. For mascaras, I had 68 at the beginning of this year and I'm down to 65. So I have used up three mascaras. My goal would be to finish two more by the end of this year for a total of five mascaras finished. I think I can do it. One of the ones I'm working on is pretty dry. I think I can finish five by the end of the year. My next category is lip balms. I was at 56 in January and I'm down to 55 now, so I did finish off one. My goal was to finish off the one that I finished and at least half of the one that I'm currently working on. But with this quarantine, I've been applying lip balm much more consistently. So I actually think I might exceed my goal of finishing one and a half lip balms and actually finishing two this year. So that would be great. For tinted lip balms, I had 34 in January. I still have 34. My goal is to finish off one tinted lip balm and I'm currently working on two tinted lip balms. So we'll see if I can make that happen. For lip liners, I was at 41 in January. I'm still at 41. I have a goal to finish off one and that's the one I'm working on. For lip crayons, I had 46 in January and I have 46 now. My goal is to get that category down by one and so that's the one I'm working on. Okay, these next couple posts are a little bit rough. <sighs> For liquid lipstick, I had 105 in January and I still have 105. My goal is to finish off two, the Revlon Lip Glide and the little itty bitty sample of Bare Minerals um, Emboss. 
I haven't done that yet, but I'm hoping to finish those two off by the end of this year. I'm also working on two other liquid lipsticks, but just to make progress, not to finish. <laughs> For lip gloss. This normally takes up two posts on my Instagram. <laughs> I had 201 in January. I still have 201. My goal is to finish three lip glosses, one full size and two little itty bitty samples. Mm. And I'm currently working on four lip glosses. I hope I can meet my goal. I, ho I hope at the very least I can get rid of the two samples by the end of the year and get that category down by two. But hitting my goal of finishing all three would be amazing. For lipsticks, this category normally takes up two posts. In January, I had 249 lipsticks. And as of today, I am down to 248. So I did finish one, which is something. But at that rate, it's going to take me 248 years to finish the lipsticks that I currently have. So that's not so great. My goal was to finish one lipstick, but I'm currently working on two other lipsticks. I don't think I'm going to finish either of them. I think I'm just going to make progress on them, but mm, anything can happen. And my last category is lip scrubs. I had four in January, I still have four. I'm not really working on them actively. I'm not trying to finish them. When I feel like my lips are dry and they need a good scrub, I use my lip scrub and when I don't, I don't. So that category is going to go down organically, not through project panning. That is everything. I've been talking for six hours. Whew. For those of you that requested this mid-year inventory, I hope this satisfied all of your needs and answered every question you had about what's going on with my inventory. I still got a long way to go, but I think the thing that stands out the most is that I haven't bought any makeup this year. Other than a couple of things that have come in through Influencer, my numbers have stayed the same or gone down in almost every category, and I couldn't be happier about that. I mean, compared to the Paula that I was two years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago, it is literally a 180 degree change and I am very proud of that. I do need to start seeing these numbers to go down more, but I think the fact that I haven't bought any makeup um, is a huge success for me. And that in and of itself is a huge success. So I'm really happy about that. That's it for my mid-year inventory. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and stick around because this is what I talk about all day, every day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.